tell us your best strategy for developing perseverance? How, how did you, were you born with that? Did you work on it? How, how did that come about? You definitely, I think, have to work on it. And I tell parents this all the time, and I tell student athletes this as well. Don't try to make your life easy. You know, put yourself in situations where you're forced to grow and you're forced to learn something about yourself. Because a lot of times we don't realize how strong we are until we're in hot water. We're like tea bags, you know. And so I, I tell people that all the time, you know, try to make yourself grow and put yourself in those situations and force yourself to not give up. Don't handicap your kids. I tell adults this all the time. Don't handicap your kids by making their lives easy. Definitely is the trait that you have to um, work on. All the kids are hearing that and going, oh, <laughs> don't tell my parents that. What, what was your first experience in that? When, when did you get that aha moment of it's okay to be in a difficult situation, I can get through this? There's been really multiple times in my life where I've had periods of time where I said, oh my gosh, can I get through this? Will I be able to? And it really started, I guess, being a gymnast and practicing four hours every day. I was only 10 years old. I was a level 10 gymnast. I had a knee disease that caused me pain day in and day out. And having that pain, sometimes I say, you know, why am I doing this? It, it's so painful. Um, why am I working so hard? But I realized I had goals that I wanted to become a national gymnastics champion. I knew things I wanted to do in the sport. And because of that, I just kept myself going. I didn't give up. I took care of myself. But I said, you know, this is what I really want then there's certain things that I have to do and, and to not give up. So I definitely did that in gymnastics, even with school. Like I mentioned before, those late nights when you don't feel like studying, but I said, I want to graduate valedictorian. And because I set that goal, I, I worked hard all the time um, with my schoolwork, and I did graduate valedictorian when I was 16. And then even things currently in my life now where I say, if I would have given up, I would not be the person that I am today. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.